Hi, I'm Lou Gross. Uh, I'm here at the National Institute for Mathematical and Biological Synthesis with my wonderful colleague Suzanne Lenhart. Uh, and we're going to tell you a little bit about a new book. This book deals with the life sciences and their connections to mathematics. The life sciences are really rapidly advancing and include very significant direct impacts on ourselves and on the living systems upon which we depend across the planet. There are now a wide variety of methods that are used to help us understand ourselves as organisms, our genetics, our connections to other organisms as well, how our metabolisms change through time, and how to better predict the future health of ourselves as individuals as well as our interactions with others. Um, we also have a phenomenal amount of data available coming to us at every level of the biological hierarchy from individual cell level through the tissues which make us up and the interactions between those, those tissues. The new perspectives and data that we have on ourselves as collections of integrated uh, components and our connections to other organisms uh, require really new ways to deal with the massive amounts of data uh, to enable us to better understand how we function as integrated components of a natural system. And mathematics is the key method that's used to help us describe living systems, to help us tease apart the mechanisms by which these living systems interact, and to deal with major issues such as how to deal with emerging infectious diseases, with uh, changes of invasive species across the planet, and how we as humans interact with the planet and cause changes to other living systems. Hello, I'm Suzanne Lenhart. I'm the Associate Director for Education and Outreach here at Nimbus. In my career, I have worked on a variety of applications, ranging from uh, how to distribute vaccine baits for rabies and raccoons, uh, how to uh, manage fish stock, fishing stock, to, so that the slock is not depleted, uh, how to design compression patterns for CPR in order to help patients who have heart attacks, and to uh, manage invasive species. So we wanted to use our extensive experience over many years working in the field of mathematics connected to biology and in teaching students about it, how to learn about the variety of topics that are necessary for modern biology uh, to incorporate quantitative methods. Along the way, we decided to collaborate with a former student, Erin Bodine of Rhodes College in developing this textbook and wanted to incorporate a variety of different mathematical topics within it. Uh, this textbook is designed to provide mathematical and computational tools to understand biological processes. These processes cannot be understood only from verbal descriptions or simply using data analysis. We provide mathematical tools to help the students understand. The textbook and our course is really uh, for a variety of students ranging from biology majors to uh, veterinary students, uh, wildlife, animal science, and pre-med and pre-health. Uh, the only prerequisite for our textbook is really Algebra 2. Along the way, unlike conventional introductory math courses that focus on the calculus for life science students, we wanted to emphasize the variety of methods and the connection of mathematics and models in biology to data. So we actually start out with many, many sections that deal with descriptive analysis of data and then how to move from beyond description to the use of mathematical models. The examples include uh, changes in height overnight, uh, how to use Google Earth to analyze changes across our planet, and how changes in physiological processes like photosynthesis occur uh, due to environmental condition changes. These are areas that are not typically included at all in an introductory mathematics course, and the connection to data and the diversity of mathematical ideas in this are unique among all the texts that are available at this level. Another goal in our course is to teach computational methods and computational algorithms. 
a large majority of the students who come to our course do not know what's behind using computer programming. They don't know the codings or the understanding behind them. So we're trying to teach students simple algorithms, simple iterative thinking. For, and students seem to be very interested when they learn some of these new topics like uh, matrix models for populations and they use computational tools to analyze them. We invite you to join us in investigating the ways that mathematics interfaces with data and analysis to help us better understand how biological systems operate. So our text is really just a first step along this process to becoming a fearless biologist, unafraid of using the appropriate quantitative methods to analyze questions of interest to you to help you better understand how the world of biological systems works and how we might best moderate the way that we manage uh, our actions across the planet.